In this video, I've put together a list of budget-friendly vehicles that are already very good stock, but have the potential for cheap power upgrades. Let's get into it. The Nissan Skyline 370 GT is basically an uglier version of the Nissan 370Z, but can be found for almost half the price. From $8,000, you will find the 370 GT with the same 3.7 liter V6 engine from the Nissan 370Z, which at release was considered one of the most impressive engines in the modern market. In 2007, Nissan announced this engine known as the VQ 37 v HR, capable of a 7500 RPM redline making around 330 horsepower, which over the years has proven to handle much more even with stock internals. Without forced induction, a small power increase of up to 20 horsepower is easily achieved with simple bolt-ons such as a high-flow cat, cold air intake, and a custom map road tune using products such as the Z1 Ecotech tuning package, which in total can cost up to $2,000. If you're a bit more technical and have more to spend, then with forced induction, it should easily make up to 500 horsepower before engine upgrades are required, but this is dependent on engine health. A turbo kit with the minimum required bolt-ons and a tune will cost up to $15,000, assuming you're going DIY. So it's pretty clear that the 370 GT engine is very capable, but what about the rest of the package? The Nissan Skyline 370 GT is rear-wheel drive and can be found as a four-door sedan, a four-door wagon, or a two-door coupe, which has the best weight advantage over the other two options. Technically, it can also be found in a two-door convertible under the Infiniti G37 nameplate. However, this will cost well out of $15,000. Nissan claims the coupe is capable of a zero to 100 kilometer time in 5.4 seconds. However, since the wagon and sedan are much heavier, expect to add up to half a second to their zero to 100 times. Earlier models came with either a five-speed auto or a six-speed manual. Post-2008, the five-speed auto was replaced by the seven-speed auto. In Australia, the six-speed manuals are extremely scarce and will cost a premium. So at that point, you're better off searching for the cheapest Nissan 370Z starting from $15,000. However, if you go down the route of tuning, the auto transmission can be improved, allowing for faster shifts. When searching for a used model, you'll come across three trim levels above the base. The Type P is the premium trim, which includes full leather seats as standard and greater luxury features, but only comes with the Tiptronic Auto. The Type S is the sports model with paddle shift Tiptronic Auto or manual gearbox. It has larger brakes and wheels, four wheel steering and half leather seats. And lastly, the Type SP includes both sport and premium features combined with either a paddle shift Tiptronic auto or manual gearbox and includes a limited slip differential. Either you love the look of the 370 GT or you hate it, but parts and modifications are abundant as it shares with the 370Z amongst other popular Nissan vehicles. With plenty of bargains awaiting pickup, the Nissan Skyline 370 GT might be a great baseline to start your journey. Now this next vehicle doesn't really make an appearance at any car shows that I've been to, but I'd actually consider it quite an uncommon sleeper. On the surface, when you look at a Volkswagen Passat R36, you probably just think it's a boring family car with minimal performance characteristics compared to vehicles like the Volkswagen Golf R. But the engine it uses has been around for three decades and can be found in many performance Volkswagens over the years. This engine is called the VR6, which Volkswagen continued to improve until recent years, including the 2.8, 2.9, 3.2 liters, and the most impressive VR6 engine to date, the FSI VR6 3.6 liter, capable of making decent power from factory. From $8,000, you can find the Volkswagen Passat R36 with a V6 3.6 liter engine making 300 horsepower. Volkswagen claims the R36 can put down a zero to 100 kilometer time in 5.6 seconds, aided by its four-wheel drive, four-motion drivetrain. It also includes Volkswagen's direct shift automatic gearbox, also known as DSG, 
or a six-speed manual which seems to be non-existent in Australia. From factory, it is already refined. However, if you're after a slight power increase, then for around $1,000, an experienced tuner can achieve up to a 20 horsepower gain alongside optimizing the DSG for faster shifts to improve acceleration without the need for bolt-ons. Unfortunately, in Australia, the R36 doesn't have much aftermarket support. Therefore, if you're seeking further power upgrades, you will need to source parts from over seas at a high cost. The R36 had a very short run in Australia from 2008 to 2010 being offered as a four-door sedan or a four-door wagon. However, at its peak, it sold like hotcakes, so there are plenty of used examples on the market today. Parts are very abundant as the 3.6 liter VR6 engine was featured in a number of vehicles under the Volkswagen Group. Coming up next, I'm going to be bundling two vehicles that share the exact same engine because without them, this wouldn't be an Australian car list. Almost everyone in Australia is familiar with the Ford turbocharged Barra engine. In the early 2000s, the inline six four liter turbocharged Barra engine was created by Ford Australia to add some spice to the already existing naturally aspirated Barra engine. The turbo Barra was fitted to many different models since its release and even better was refined over the years resulting in factory power increases in its lifespan. The early turbo Barra engines made up to 320 horsepower out of the box, however are capable of making up to 450 horsepower before internal upgrades are required, depending on engine health. I've spoken already a fair bit about the engine, but what vehicles actually house the turbo Barra engine that can be purchased for under $15,000? For as low as $8,000, you will find an all-wheel drive four-door SUV called the Ford Territory Turbo, which only came out with a six-speed sequential sports shift automatic. It could only launch from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.3 seconds, which is due to being the heaviest vehicle on this list. But although slow and heavy, this has not stopped people from modifying them. For example, someone online purchased one to road tune without any modifications and was able to achieve a 0 to 100 kilometer time in 6.3 seconds. Then they went ahead to upgrade the injectors, air intake, intercooler, cat back, fuel pump and completed another road tune costing them a total of $7,000. They were then able to put down a 0 to 100 kilometer time in 5.2 seconds. If modifications are not on the cards for you, then you do have lighter chassis options which feature the same inline six four liter turbocharged Barra engine. From $9,000, you will find plenty of Ford Falcon XR6 BAs and BFs on the market, including a four door sedan or two door ute, which most XR6s included a limited slip differential as a factory option. The BA XR6 turbo can be found in either a five speed manual or four speed BTR Auto. However, the newer BF can be found in either a six-speed manual or six-speed sequential sports shift automatic. Ford experts seem to recommend the BF six-speed auto over the BA's four-speed due to age of the technology. The XR6 Turbo BF would come out on top with a zero to 100 kilometer time of 5.7 seconds. However, slightly slower for the XR6 Turbo BA at 6.6 .6 seconds as it runs a less refined factory turbocharged Barra engine, but as seen with the Ford Territory, both can easily be tuned to shave off time even without any bolt-ons. Parts are extremely abundant for these Australian Fords, especially the Barra engine, as there is not much that can't be sourced, including high-performance aftermarket parts. The Barra engine is arguably the best local developed and built engine in Australia, so you really can't go wrong. This last vehicle would not be at the top of many people's lists, including my own, but it is a great out-of-the-box deal for the price that you're paying, assuming that you don't purchase a lemon. From $9,000, you can find an all-wheel drive Subaru Impreza WRX G3 that in Australia can only be found with a five-speed manual. This third-generation WRX hatchback features the turbocharged EJ25 2.5-liter four-cylinder boxer engine, 
making 260 horsepower, which Subaru claims can put down a 0 to 100 time in 5.3 seconds. According to the Subaru community, the EJ25 can unlock power quite easily up to a safe 330 horsepower. This can be achieved with simple cheap mods such as an upgraded fuel pump, flex fuel sensor, access port module, a downpipe, three port boost control solenoid and a custom tune costing a total of $3,000. Now depending on your engine health, Subaru experts say that power increases beyond this point may result in reliability issues, therefore spending more money to strengthen internals is required. When it comes to reliability, unfortunately the WRX gets a bad rap because plenty of people have reported engine failure, but this doesn't have to be your fate if you're interested in buying one. I personally do not think the WRX is plagued with issues, but I do know that most of the people who own them do not maintain them and thrash the shit out of them, therefore causing the issues. I knew a work colleague who back in the day owned this exact same model WRX hatchback and they did not maintain it correctly, but they drove it hard on a daily basis. Sometimes they would even do hard pulls before the car had even warmed up. Eventually, after a few years of ownership, something broke and they sold it to someone without telling them who unfortunately purchased a lemon. But this doesn't have to be you. Take your time when purchasing the Impreza WRX and if you can, try and complete a pre-purchase inspection with someone who knows their way around these EJ engines. Once you've found a clean WRX, then all you need to do is maintain it. Online, there are plenty of helpful resources to guide you on your EJ25 journey, such as this article, which I'll link below. Overall, there is no shortage of Subarus, therefore parts and support is abundant. If you avoid buying a lemon, then this could be the best purchase you could make on a budget. And make sure you follow my channel so you can keep up to date with all my new videos. Thanks.